What's up everybody? So the following is a clip from the Joe Rogan experience where he talks about what's currently going on in Canada right now. Let's have a listen. You just, what's fascinating to me is watching what's going on in Canada right now because mm -hmm. the truckers have taken over Ottawa, right? They've just overwhelmed Ottawa with thousands and thousands of trucks. And so now they have these laws where you're not allowed to refuel them. You're not allowed to give them food. GoFundMe tried to steal the money, yeah. which is wild. They got $10 million in donations for the truckers and GoFundMe thought it would be great if they gave that money to the charities of their choice. You fucking imagine the gall the gall of that after they listen I'm not saying they shouldn't have supported black lives matter I think you should support I think GoFundMe should be available to anyone who wants to use it for anything that's a, like a, where sure. people can argue that it's a good cause and the the Ottawa truckers a lot of people think that's a good cause black lives matters a lot of people thought that was a good cause the fact that you can make a distinction between one and the other if they had taken all the money that was donated to black lives matter and they said you know what we don't agree with this. We're going to give it away to the charities that we choose. You'd be like, fuck you, you are. <laughs> yeah. People oh, would yeah. go goddamn crazy. That, In you know, Quebec, you can't buy groceries unless you're vaccinated. We need to look at this and make sure this is true. But when you get to that I know point, some, someone was telling us this uh, last night. Yes. Who is, is a Canadian. Yes. So he might be right about that. But that, yes. that is, yeah, see, make sure that's true. Yeah, let's make sure that's true. It's wild. And the way Trudeau talks about people who are unvaccinated, the way he said that they're misogynists and said they were misogynists and, and, and racists. And you're in the demonized class. Like, all but of a you're, you are, but, you're, you're deciding, you're taking people that have a perspective on a medical intervention and you're deciding that you're going to demonize them in the worst possible ways with no evidence. And isn't it something that so many of these people, like say the, the nurses who are unvaccinated, the truck drivers who mm -hmm. don't like the mandates, that they were the heroes. Right. These were the essential yeah. workers, yes. the healthcare workers. Yes. These were the people in New York City, they were mm -hmm. clapping at 6 p.m. every yes. day for these workers. And those same, there'll be nurses who worked through a year and a half of the pandemic. And they didn't want to get the and shot. And didn't want to get the shot. And now all of a sudden, these are the, uh, you're out of there. Unvaccinated to be accommodated at all times in Canadian Walmarts, Costco's to ensure they're buying pharmacy products only. What? A company, excuse me. Unvaccinated to be accompanied at all times. So to make sure they're not getting food? Yes. They have to buy pharmacy products only. So how do they eat? Well, I don't know, but in Quebec, that's what this guy was saying. In Quebec, you can't go to a grocery store unless you're vaccinated. Vaccine passports to enter the vicinity went into effect on Monday. This mandate includes all businesses with surfaces. There. But here today, today in Alberta, I think they dropped their vaccine mandates. And I think this is in response to the truckers. That's interesting. Yeah. Feel, truckers are, find that. you don't want to fuck with truckers, Just, man. They, you need. That's what Joe Rogan thinks about what's currently going on in Canada right now. What do you think of what Joe Rogan had to say? And what do you think about what's going on in Canada right now? Let me know. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you again soon.